everyone, I'm Mason Salisbury from Luminous Coffee here in Las Vegas, Nevada. My wife Lexus and I are a two-person operation. Uh, she's away right now with the newborn, Young Atlas, but I'm excited to introduce the coffee we showcased with Leaderboard. Today we're featuring a unique coffee from Colombia, processed with Koji. Uh, this coffee is grown at about 1300 elevation and is the baseline quality you can expect from Colombia Couture as in green, not in what you would expect as in the flavor profile. But here's where we shake things up. It's a double washed coffee, also India wash, or some may say Kenya wash, but we say double washed with this. It's a carbonic maceration, and of course, koji, with notes in our cup and many others of tamarind, dragon fruit, melon, and kiwi. This coffee is extremely sweet with lots of acidity, which makes it so confusing, uh, and we love it that way. Now, what's koji? It's a spore added during the drying process or other parts of the process, depending on protocol, that adds complex, sweet flavors. If you want to dive deeper on this, check out Chris Friend's protocol on this and his topic. We're good friends. We've worked on it for a while. He's the reason why I do this so hard. We've been working with our partners, Shadi and Elias Bader at Virgil Estates to really explore the possibilities of Koji for the last year, two years. Um, we've done about 1,500 kilos a year, splitting up into three harvests. Uh, we've done so many protocols. They're all risk purchases, meaning that I'll request something and we don't know how it's going to come out. And we'll see. And this is one of them. We also threw in this as Insta Coffee, Insta Coffee, because we believe everyone should get to experience this in different ways. We do everything in house for the last four years, from Insta cans to RTP cans. Um, but really, it just depends on what you're into. But this this coffee really breaks a lot of that stigmas, um, a lot of bias, pre notion thoughts of what certain coffees are. Uh, that's why we finally did this with Grant. He's been reaching out for a while and I, you know, been wanting to do this. It's just finding the right time and the right experience to give that showcases us. And I think this really showcases who Luminous is and what is possible, especially with Couture, because the whole point of Koji is not to put it in Geshe's and Java's. Um, it's to put it onto lower quality coffee that lacks sweetness, lacks acidity, and has a lot of defects from growing uh, and climate change. So the Koji helps with that. Um, so that's why we did this Katura. This is actually a very inexpensive coffee that many would cup, and I have cup and graded blind at a higher score and would have thought was priced higher. Um, but yeah, this is basically the Luminous coffee. Let's go, uh, let's go check it out. So this is Luminous, this roaster, that's it. No, I'm just kidding. There's some other parts to it too. We have candy line in the back. We have instant coffee in the back. We do a lot of stuff at a very, uh, high focus level of experience, meaning we put a lot of time into what we do to educate ourselves to make this quality match the green that's being put in from all the hard work that the producers work on, you know, you know, processing, the shipping. Oh, there's so much hands that go into it. So our goal is to put the same amount of work into our execution from roasting to canning to instant. But yeah, this is a little bit of who we are. Um, check us out only on Fridays. That's the only time you'll see us. But yeah, goodbye. We love y'all. See you, Lumis. And if you're a Lumi and you tried this coffee, I hope you got it right.